Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is, why do North Koreans escape to other countries? Let's get into it. Before that, if you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. North Korean citizens must adhere to highly severe laws in their home nation. Many of them flee to other nations. Many people, especially kids, attempt to flee because they long for more independence in their lives. North Koreans are subject to intense government control, and they are required to abide by a very rigid set of laws. The government also controls the TVs and radios, and they need authorization just to go anywhere. The state controls and fabricates every piece of information that North Koreans are exposed to. North Korean children are not permitted to use the internet or have access to social media. They are unable to view South Korean or other entertainment programs or learn about the outside world. They can face harsh punishment if they are found breaking any laws. Many individuals live in extreme poverty and lack access to enough food. People in North Korea who criticize their leader face harsh punishment and possibly death. Numerous North Koreans who disapproved of the government were imprisoned or sent to labor camps. North Koreans are forced to give Kim Jong-un accolades whether they want to or not. They must also take part in activities where they must honor and praise the leader. In North Korea, it is utterly impossible to live your life as you like. People are not allowed to express their opinions since the government controls every aspect of their lives. Another significant issue facing the nation is power disruptions. The nighttime in North Korea is dark, and there is seldom any nightlife. Even now, a large number of North Koreans are emigrating because they want to follow their relatives who left 10 or 20 years ago. They wish to get away from the government authorities' monitoring and repression. The North Koreans were compelled to flee their homeland due to their oppressed lifestyle. Around 80% of North Korea's defectors have left the country in search of a better future. Women receive less severe punishment when they are discovered to be defectors than do men. Even if they are discovered engaging in illegal activity, men are still susceptible to harsh flogging. North Korean defectors significantly increased during the 1990s famine in North Korea. The quantity peaked in 1998 and 1999. Since 2000, there has been a significant decrease in the number of defectors due to stringent border patrols and inspections. The numbers have decreased as a result of forced deportations and an increase in defections. The North Korean defectors enter Jilin and Liaoning provinces through the Chinese border before landing in northeast China. Between 76% and 84% of those who defected have fled to China or South Korea. Over a thousand people leave North Korea each year for some of the most secluded nations in the world. According to a report from 2022 that cited the Ministry of Unification, more than 33,000 persons have fled from North Korea to South Korea since 1998. Many North Korean defectors have achieved international notoriety, including Ji Seung Ho, a double amputee who later entered politics in Seoul. Typically, North Korean defectors flee to other nations. China is one of North Korea's most significant economic partners and a staunch ally of the regime. China has long provided North Korea with ongoing assistance. Because of this, North Korean defectors frequently choose China as their destination country. But as of late, China has declined to provide North Korean defectors refugee status and has instead viewed them as undocumented economic migrants. The defectors are returned to North Korea if they are discovered in China. The North Korean defectors must endure difficult questioning after being sent home, years of punishment, or possibly execution. Another common destination for defectors is South Korea, which lies next door to North Korea. South Korea attracts a lot of North Korean defectors because its citizens enjoy a convenient atmosphere. Many North Koreans are migrating to South Korea because it is a neighbor and makes it simpler for them to cross the border. Unfortunately, the fight is not done for those who reach the South. For more than 50 years, North Korea has been cut off from the outside world and its political and technological advancement. Those who manage to escape North Korea experience uncertainty and overload because to the utter isolation from modernity, they live in addition to misinformation about the outside world. Defectors from North Korea mention being perplexed by items like vividly colored street signs. They have never used a bank card, a cell phone, or a mode of public transit. Those who flee find the components of modern capitalism and democracy to be entirely foreign. 
As a result, for many, the joy they feel after crossing the border is fleeting since they quickly realize they still have a lot to overcome. But for newly arrived refugees, the South Korean government offers thorough integration programs. Hanawon is a three-month training and relocation program. The program instructs migrants on how to use a computer, a transport, and an ATM. They are given lessons in democracy and citizenship as well as guidance on how to find employment. They essentially also receive training on how to fit in with their community. The program then offers migrants a public housing unit, a housing subsidy, settlement benefits, and a designated police officer to periodically check in on them. They are on their own after that. We hope we shed some light on what's happening in North Korea. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Thanks for watching.